हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू क्यू टी पी फंक्शनल टेस्टिंग वीडियोज माई सेल्फ उदय क्यू टी पी सपोर्ट्स थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ रिकॉर्डिंग मोड्स दैट इज नॉर्मल रिकॉर्डिंग मोड एनालॉग रिकॉर्डिंग मोड एंड वो लेवल रिकॉर्डिंग मोड एंड ईच रिकॉर्डिंग मोड हैज इट्स ओन पर्पज एंड इम्पोर्टेंस राइट सो वी कैन स्विच बिटवीन वन रिकॉर्डिंग मोड टू अनदर रिकॉर्डिंग मोड और राइट but in this video i will be mainly concentrating on normal recording mode and in my next videos i will be covering analog recording mode as well as low level recording mode all right so let me go through what's what's normal recording mode and how it will work all right so normal recording mode is also called as Context sensitive mode. All right. So by default, this is the uh, this normal recording mode is the default recording mode. So what is, what does it mean by normal recording mode? Right. So whenever you record something in your application, it by default uses this normal recording mode. All right. Let me show you with some example over here. Like for example, say I have my flight reservation application. I just uh, I would like to record some operations. right so when i start recording by default it will be is in normal recording mode as you can see i would like to enter my username and i would like to enter password all right after that i'm just clicking on okay button so as you can see because this is a normal recording mode it what it can able to identify the objects and perform the operation all right so what does it mean in the normal recording mode qtp can able to identify objects displayed here all right and stores that object identification in object repository sorry whatever whatever the operations performed in like see even though we have this is a dialog box we have agent name password okay cancel and help these are three buttons right but it doesn't store all these objects whatever the operations performed on different objects those objects it will store in the object repository as you can see we have entered agent name so it stores this object here right we have entered password so it has stored that object and after that we click done okay button so that object is also stored in its object repository all right when i as you can see in my third point which i have mentioned it records the objects and the operation you perform on them right so it stores this object it generate it stores this objects in object repository and generates the script so so far this is my object and this is my action this is my operation all right so the actual object is stored in object repository so when i re execute the same thing for example say if this statement is executed because this is the this is my object it will find that object in object repository whatever the hierarchy we have mentioned uh, that is had generated right dialog dot in this dialog box we have this in win edit so it looks for this dialog box in that dialog box it looks for the agent name edit box all right after that when uh, what is the operation that we are performing dot set so it sets whatever value that we have given here will be set in that dialog box so when i run it what it will basically do is it look for the it like during recording it tries to identify and remember that object into object remo uh, repository when i execute it 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 has already stored that object description in var right so it what are the properties that it have stored which the same it will find to uh, identify the same object in the application with the same properties so when i run it what it will happen is it takes the objects from the object repository and performs the operation all right that is how the normal recording mode works all right so to summarize it what it will do is it will 
identifies the objects and stores that object into object repository when we execute it it find the same it uh, it finds that object from the object repository and looks in this application and performs the operation so whatever the operation here it is a set statement so it will set whatever the text that we have entered here set even though set secure because this is a password it it uh, the operation is set secure and the password is encrypted into this form okay and after that it clicks on ok button so here what is the operation click is the operation right so uh, it records the object and the operation you performed on them this mode takes the full advantage of QTP object model so basically what does this point means is like how it stores this object right as you can see from this object repository it first stores the window or dialog box or the browser whatever it is and for each object it stores some of uh, like you know uh, based on its object identification all right it will store those properties all right so basically this is object identification and all we have i have covered in my previous videos all right like where you can see object how the qtp identifies the object and at the same time how smart identification use and all those you covered in my previous videos so this statement what it does is uh, it takes the how uh, object identification is then how it stores the objects in object repository all right it can recognize the object in your application irrespective of their location on the screen what does it mean is so as I recorded right during recording time my application is in this coordinates if even though if I move this application to some different location also it can able to perform the same operations as you can see when I run the script now it can able to perform the operation it has entered username password and click done ok button right so that's what it is like it can recognize the object in your application irrespective of their location on the screen whereas if you go for analog recording mode or low level recording mode it cannot identify the object if you move the application from one location to different location all right so generally people oh, when you are recording means you are recording in a normal recording mode okay that's all in this video thanks for watching this video please leave your comments about this video thank you